Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a Thursday edition of JC3D. It's June 23rd at about uh, 8.41 a.m. This is part two on the 3D modeling of the Scorpion. I hope you enjoy it. So let's see here. Yesterday we left off, we had these two arms made. It took a little bit over two hours, so. Let's see what would be fun to do now. I was kind of looking at his eyeballs before and thought they looked pretty neat. Um, why don't we go ahead and make this little body section right here. I think that'd be kind of cool. <clears throat> so, looks like we've got a double one here where this little tail thing starts on top. So let's make this thing here first. I'm just thinking this must be some kind of flesh part in here and this is the hard part. So I'm going to jump right into my tool here, which is the polygon pen. I'm going to hide that guy. At some point, I'm going to probably current state that to objects. So, but anyway, here this is my polygon pen. I'm only going to do one side. I'm going to mirror it over. So, I kind of want to just block it out like that. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. And then uh, I'm just going to sort of straighten these out and go down here to coordinate manager. And then you see right here, you've got this X axis tool. Now that just moved everything because I've got the soft selector on, I think. Yeah, right there. I want to make sure that's turned off. Otherwise, the scale is going to influence all the points around it there. Right there. Boom. Now, that's about what I'm going for. You can, kind of, you can move these points afterwards. It's very nonlinear 3D. I mean, there are things you get into, like when you're current seeing to an object that, you know, it's a point of no return. But so here we go. That looks pretty good to me. The bottom side looks a little bit like the guides off. <clears throat> the top looks okay, but the bottom here, I don't know. So maybe that's just the way it is. Um, and this piece here sticks out more and this one goes in. I could, that, I'm just gonna assume that's the way it is because this is lined up pretty good up here. Oops. So let's see. I'm gonna go down here. I'm gonna copy this guy, paste it. Uh, let's see which way is the top and the bottom here. This is the bottom going this way because we've got the thing set up like this rather than like this. So we'll go here, go here. He's out. Now let me take a look at this guy here just to get a uh, sense of how big those other ones are. This one must surely be a little bit bigger. Take a look at my guide here. Where are you? Do, 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 do. So somewhere in here, I've got a guide. Let's see. Yeah, it's much thicker. So that's going to be... How many of these do you think you can fit in there? One, two, three of them. Somewhere in there. Okay. So now this bottom one, though, it's got to be a little bit of a different shape. So let's fix that real quick. Take these guys and, whoops, yeah. If you hide this one, it might be a little bit easier to see what you're working on. Make that and move it up. About there. There we go. Something like that. Now, this piece here is flat. So it's this other one, and I've got to make them kind of rounded. So let's see, the part that would go out. Grab these. Same thing on this side. Grab those. Just gonna move them over here. Pretty good. Now I'll take these two. I'm gonna uh, connect these by doing a uh, right click and then say connect objects and delete. <coughs> Excuse me. And then what we do is we're gonna go in here and do a couple of bridges. So you can usually use your loop selector tool. So select loop selection, 
just hover over this stuff like that. And that. You can do a bridge. You right click and say bridge. You just got to pick the point that looks the same on each one. So you can't go down to here, but you can drag over to there. Boom. And let's throw this under a symmetry. Just like that. And you're going to get that other side there. And I'm just going to make sure that the points are on the zero. I know I scaled them, but did I move them? Let's just double check. So you grab these and you see how the movement's off just by hair. So you do that. That helps it right here when you've got this little weld tolerance, weld point thing going on. The distance and having them at the zero point helps. So let's see. We'll go like this. Current state this to an object. Connect objects and delete. That way I get to think of this as a hole now rather than um, this half a hole there. So I can do a tool like this where I can close a hole since I have a hole. <laughs> Boom. And boom. Now I'm going to take that and throw it underneath the subdivision surface. It's going to smooth it. Grab these polygons here, like this and this. Hit the hotkey. Sometimes you do this, you can kind of see what you got there. So hit the hotkey I, hotkey D. See so if I went the hotkey I, maybe a little bit more, made it a little smaller. Then the hockey D, maybe we get more of a bevel like that. Right here. Instead of such a paper thin one. That looks pretty good. Looks like we might be having an issue here with normal, so we'll check that in a second. I'm just gonna go here. Turn this off maybe. Wanna get this, grab the bottom there, hit the hockey I. Hockey D. Smooth it out there. Okay, now remember, go in here and check all of these. Do, 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 do. Normals. You just want to align the normals <clears throat> like that. Boom. Okay, so now we got that little piece there. Now moving right along to the next piece. Well, so let's take a look at this. I had a couple of little. It had this piece on top, right? This piece here, man, not so much going on. But it did have this little double piece here. Now I don't know if that's a laying on top or if it's pushed in. It would be kind of cool to interpret it that it's pushed in and then pushed out. So let me just see if I can do that. Let's see. Go like this. Now we got this shape right here. Do, 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 do. So what I'm going to do is cut this in half. Throw it underneath the symmetry again. Pretty much looks exactly the same, but you can do some stuff to it it happens to the other side which is awful handy alrighty let's see do, 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 do. so I want this to have this little pattern down in here now I'm trying to think if I should just cut this like this that's a possibility so let me just try that grab this right here like so you can also see a little better if you go here and turn on X-Ray. So grab this, and then I want, I'm just going to try to cut a line like that and see if I get lucky here. Line cut. Um, you know what? Maybe polygon pen tool. Let's see. Let's try that instead in point mode. Doesn't seem to really want to do it if I shut all this off. There, I don't really like that, but maybe we can fix it after. Okay, no, let's see how screwed it up too bad. Yeah, it looks like it did do something pretty horrific. So, let me just maybe take this from a different angle. So, do, 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 do. One thing I might be able to get away with here is um, subdivide the whole thing, you know, by one. And then maybe I can find that shape there in that subdivision. That might be a way to do it. So let's see. Go up here to, I'll just save the scene in case I don't like it. We'll go to add subdivision. Now I'm going to try this. I'm not going to do the smooth. Well, should I try the smooth? Let's try the smooth. Let's see what we get. Nothing. 
try that one more time. There we go. So it still looks pretty close. It changed the way that it looked a little bit, but it looks pretty close. And now I can see if I can find that set selection with these points here, which it looks like I can. I can. That's nice because the whole thing now, at least it's all still quads. And I might be able to fix these little pointy things here. All right, so let's see. We got this guy here. Now, basically what I was trying to do um, in, let's see, this might help actually if I have this, uh, like this, connect objects and delete. And I can extend the selection over here. Boom, boom, boom. Now what you can do is, you can do the hotkey. Let's see, we want to do, I think I can do it just a D. Push it in. And then push it back out like that. Voila. We'll go like this. Boom. I got that little detail there. Alrighty. Now. Oh, I see. So maybe that's on each one. Is that the deal? Is that? Uh, it's sort of hard to tell. Let's see. Okay. Well, we'll call that that one anyway. Figure out how to do this little piece here. So now I'm going to move on to this guy. And I'm going to go back to my polygon pen tool and just block this out like this. Brr, brr, brr. I'm not going to figure out my strategy here for this little piece that goes around that yellow piece there. Uh, you don't really see it here. So, I think I'm just going to make it part of the model. Because, I mean, it's not like the in-between flesh or anything. That's what I first thought it was, but it goes around like this. So, let's just go ahead and build it in. Like that. Boom, 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 boom. Do, 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 do. All right, I don't know, maybe you didn't really need that one going around here. Or maybe just talk center, that's probably what it does. Okay, so I like to straighten the edges out, so I go, go down here, just kind of out of habit, I'll make sure that this is straight, like that. <clears throat> And you want to make sure you tab over here or shift tab to get back there and go like that and zero out the position. And you can make a couple of little fine tune adjustments here. Alrighty. Now the piece on the bottom is going to marry to this, so might as well do that. So let's see. Turn this guy on. Let's see what he looked like. So these pieces, these pieces here kind of come up a little bit this way. Then you grab these, come up a little bit more. Then you grab this one, come up to here. And I like to copy and paste that. And bring it all back to here. Bring it all back like that. Maybe I went a bit too far. Let's try that. <clears throat> okay. You take these two, save every now and then. Um, Connect objects and delete. Then you go up here to your line tool there. You want to go select a loop selector. Boink, boink. Right click, bridge. Boom. Then you're going to take this and do a uh, symmetry. Drop it in there. We'll grab a subdivision. Drop that in there. 
And then we're going to want to current state this to an object so that I can get basically those holes or whatever. I can select each side like that. Connect objects and delete. I'm going to go here. Like that. Hit the hot key. Well, let's see. Let me think about this. <laughs> yeah, I think that might work. Hockey I. Hockey D. So the hockey I a lot more. Hockey D. I think I can live with that. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to adjust the bottom. So before I get carried away, I should be able to do that right in here, but it would be helpful if I deleted half of this. A little symmetry going again, like so. And then what I'm going to do is grab the underside. Uh, not so much over here, I guess, but over here. I'll raise that up to there. I'll grab this one and raise it up to there. There we go. Pretty cool how nature does that. Okay, let's see here. Oh, you know, while I'm in here, maybe I'll just take this guy here. Select loop. Might be a way to select in here. Nope, that's a horrible way to do it. So you can just hide this guy and that might make it easier to see anyways. Go in here, select this. Maybe even a little more, get it like fatter, like that. Hit. Then I'm gonna bring this back so I can see what I'm doing. I'm just gonna hit the hockey D. There we go. Then at least that just has something in there. So there's no hole, no gap there. All right. Now the little doohickey on the bottom seems to have three things here. There's almost like a bottom piece, then it has this little extra piece on top. So let's just check that out real quick. I'm gonna put these together and just sort of clean that up a little bit. And then I'll hide this. Um, so yeah, I'm going to interpret this as like, this is a piece here and a piece here like this that goes on top. So, I think polygon pen away here. We'll just go like this. Boo, doo, 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 doo. You see that little piece there? That's the one kind of detail I got to get. So we'll make sure we get that. Bum, ba -dum, bum, bum. Bum, ba -dum, bum. This is the bottom, right? This is the bottom. Boom and boom. Tuck that guy in a little. Okay. Well, I'm just going to take and copy this and... Move it out a little. Whoops. Maybe like to there. Connect objects and delete, and I'm just gonna connect them. Looping around. Boom, 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 boom. Oh wow, got a lot of selecting to do. All right, there we go. Hit the bridge tool. Just go like this. Throw that underneath the hyper nerve up there and see what we got. We got that. Now look at those normals. Just make sure those are aligned there. 
Do 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 do. Normals align normals. Okay. All right now. <clears throat> Group that little symmetry, and we'll just bring this down in there with that. Now, when you do that, you got to make sure you delete these polygons right here. That's what's causing that little crease. Get rid of them. Whoa! Hey. <laughs> make sure you're in polygon mode. Okay, point mode, just make a couple of fine tune adjustments here. Something like that. Okay, there's that little creepy crawler part. Now, let's see. We got to get this little piece here to come out. So, let's get rid of this guy. Uh, which one are you? Not the one I want. Okay. Just trying to current state this to an object, folks. Bear with me. Now I'm going to go down here and select these. And this is to get that bump there. I'm going to hit the hotkey D, right? Is that what I want to do? Now, you know what? Sometimes it's, it's nice to go in. So you can do the hotkey D, but instead of going the hotkey D and going out like that, you the hotkey D and you go in. And then you go out like that. We go in, so far in. All right, now you do that to that. I said that looks it's pretty good. It's a little bit more roundy, but I think I can live with that. It looks kind of cool. Okay, so now we've got that piece there. Now this looks a little bit like the surface is kind of wobbly. So let me see here if I do this. Select, um, boom. Now what I'm going to try to do is just subdivide this. Let's see how it goes. Just thinking, you know, I mean, you could do it with the texture too, but let's just try this. Subdivide. We've still got it on this smooth subdivide, so let's just go for that. Boink. So now you get a lot more points. And then, um, so you just take these and randomly kind of move them around. We got a couple pieces pinching up against each other. Do 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 do. Bow bow. Bow now. Now now. Na 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 do. Mm -hmm. All right, there we go. You know, I'm just kind of messing it up a little bit, but it looks pretty good to me. Let's go a little bit, crank it out some more. Okay, there we go. You can't, you can't deny that. There we got a little bit of denting going on there. Um. Do 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 Just kind of see this little shape in there. Cool, okay. Now, moving right along. We're moving right along. It's a backyard beach. So I'm just going to try to copy this one right here. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Let's see if I get lucky. Now that was the bottom part. So let's just bring him out. Kind of hang out down here by yourself. And this guy. Copy and paste. Maybe move that null down. And then move it up. An object bonds over right, right to that thing. Uh, 
Let's go down the horn here. So we got, what's this guy? Oh, that's the back piece. Okay, yeah, so. Let's just cut this guy in half. Pop that in there. Boom, boom, boom. Hey, wait a minute, what happened? Oh, you see this? You, you have to have a null for there to be more than one. All right, so now let's select these two. Grab all these points over here. Wait a minute, why are those ones over there? Huh? Oh, it's flippy flopty. This one's on that side, that one's on that side. <laughs> Going back. Deleted the wrong side, folks. Plus, that might want to be zeroed out right there. Boink. All right. Now, well, let's make... Put that into the symmetry now. Do, 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 do this and do that. And boom, boom. Not really on the same side, at least. And now what we can do is move them over. So, let's see. We got all this. Now here, if you put your soft selector on, you can preview it like here and see how bad the damage is. You just go boom, boom, boom. See how it's pulling on that over there? If you click on surface, that might turn that down a little bit. No, take that back. Just turn it down here. So it's at 1.5, go to 0.5. Eh, it looks decent. Let's see. These pieces might need to be a little bit flatter right here, I'm thinking. Select looper. I'm just thinking of this piece right here. Like that. See how it's kind of round right here? So if I hit the hockey D on this, it'll flatten that. And then you just want to make sure to go in here and delete these. And that one. And that one. Yeah, I kind of like that. Let me just do that in this one, too. Select loop. Go on to here. Hit the hockey D. Just a little bit. If it's a little bit too much, you can go in here and try to do the iron. It might screw it up in a couple of different ways, but there we go. Um, select loop. Get your selection back. And then that was like a, a UI to extend it just a little bit. And then we're basically down here trying to iron it ever so slightly. And when you do that, you got to watch your... Center points right here. See that? Huh. Let's see. All right. Now hit a little bit of wavery here. If I do this and hit X ray, I can see through it a little bit better now. Go down here, perhaps, to this. Just kind of messing around here, matching the guide a little bit. That side looks all right. Now, there was a deal here with this thing wanting to go, I think, more in right here. So just kind of a guess, but you see it was overlapping like that. So what one goes on top? The one below goes on top. So you kind of want this stuff pushed in a little, I feel like. How's that look? Let's turn the x-ray off. Looks pretty good. 
And then this bottom stuff here. What's going on with that? If I turn the x-ray back on with that. Sure, you know what? Oh, you know, it does look a little bit different here. So let's see. Why don't we just cut that right off? Take this here and fill that hole. Ba -dum -ba -ba -dum -ba -dum -ba. Now I've got the soft selector and I turn that off, but you can move that point like that. Okay, what's this little doohickey doing over here? Let's be a little straighter. Okay, that's just looking pretty good. Let's turn that x ray off. Check it out. Um, looks like it wants to go up a little bit right here, maybe. Maybe just on the bottom side. As these things go, like. the back one yo we can't spin around that one I guess it stands reason that this one maybe should be on top bottoms on top bottoms on top whoa Be still flat though, because that's the belly there. So we'll just make it just a little bit over. Alrighty. Yeah, I'm just gonna copy this one. Saving my scene there. Slide it up to here. Do 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 do. Turn on X-ray. Go in here and select the points. Let's see. It's pretty good. Now this is this the one that had the wobble wobble? I don't really have enough points here, I think, to really do that well. But they do seem to be seems to be pretty important to make it wavy. Let's see what I can do with what I've got here. Maybe I'll subdivide it some more. Do, 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 do. Hmm. Ah. Well, I could try subdividing everything, but whew. let's go for it. Subdivide at one level. All right, let's see if that helps me out with this. So if I grab that dot, turn on my soft selector, make sure I've got surface on. I should be able to move just this area here. Let's test it out. I just want to make it bigger. Crank the strength up, maybe. So that's huge. Let's go to 0.5. Pretty big, so... How about 0.8? Wow. Maybe I can just grab a couple more points around here, and it will be all right. So we need this to go, like, down... Then 
This one wants to be lit. Oh, well, here's a, here's the thing too, where we probably don't want this to be in symmetry mode anymore. So let's fix that. Pick up the right one. Nope. Here we go. Boom. So connect objects and delete. And if you take that soft selector off of the surface only, it'll move this stuff too. 5.5. There we go, we're getting a little wavy wave. I think I can live with that. Okay. So now let's take that guy there and copy him. Lift it up. Throw the old x ray on. Throw the old x ray on there. Boom. Yeah, make sure that soft selector is on. I'm going to go a little bit bigger with it, like 1.0. Let's just tuck this guy in. Boom. Uh, here. Uh, this is interesting. Kind of been ignoring down here. Well, I guess I wasn't totally... But this here wants to come out, I think. Now let's turn X ray off for this move here. Let's see how bad it is. There. So, what is that? Why is there two of them there? I'm not quite sure what's up with that. Oh, that probably wants to be out, actually. Let me see if I can get a little bit more of this. Grab like that much, perhaps. Get it to come out more. I'm going to grab this doohickey here and just pull them right out. Okay. I'm just going to group all these so I can hide them real quick and take a look at this underbelly here. So we got one, two, three of those. One, two, three. So that's interesting. It looks like maybe this one's supposed to shift up a little bit. Let's see. So they're definitely going to keep going on top of each other. So let me see if I can get that going. This one here is doing a bad job of it. Right there. This guy. So let me grab all of this on the back side. Try to pull it out. Seems to go a little bit too low. Let's try putting this on with the x-ray here so I can kind of take a look at it. A little bit tricky how the top and the bottoms are. So let's go ahead and lift this guy up. Squish him up a little bit. From there. And then this bottom piece here... I'm going to be able to get that from. 
boom, boom, boom. Maybe like this. Let's see what have I got here. Well, that all might want to come up to here. Okay, let's see what the damage was on all that. That's pretty good. Not too shabby. Let's see. So now what I want to do is cover this bottom piece up here with this one. Maybe what I should do is just push this top piece in because they're starting to get a little bit big. Boom, boom. Select the top. And I just want the back, so let me go like this. Oops, maybe I do want that. Boom, get rid of this, put the corners in just a little bit more maybe. Okay, looks like it's screwing up the front ever so slightly, but let's see what we can do here. Uh, this piece must have to get lifted up too. Let me just take a look at this guy. See what the damage is. So this wants to go way up to here. Then we're gonna get some funky things right there, but let's see first. Can I select the bottom of this thing only? No, my set selector, I think my soft selector is still on, so I just wanted to go way up to here. Let's check that out. Okay. See so it looks like with our claw up there. Ooh, yeah, it's getting there. All right. So, let's see. Let me just take a look at these right here. This x ray on. See if I can give a little uh, randomness to this top piece. So. Oh, uh, that's pretty strong, but good for blocking out some stuff, I guess, real quick here. Now, I'm going to turn it down to, say, like three. See if I can get a different kind of a dent wave going. Not the worst idea to follow the guide. See what that does. I'll take off that x ray there. Okay. Now it looks like we've got two more here, but I don't think that you see them on the bottom because the bottom gets covered up with whatever the heck you call that. So let's figure out how we're going to do that. Definitely, if I'm going to copy it, don't need this little piece right there. So we'll just blow that out of the water. Now this guy here. I mean, I could just blow this entire thing out of the water. Is that the solution here that I want? Bye-bye. 
select loop. I'm just going to clean this up. Zero that out. Well, let me take a look at this thing, actually. Hide all that. Make sure that cut is true. There's something weird there. Don't think we really need you. Boom, 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 boom. Yo, how far does it go? No, what was that? I thought it was gonna be a nice clean one. Hmm. Well, let's see if I can do a loop select somewhere. There we go. There we go. Okay. I'm oh, going to make this thing here. Loop select on that. Hit that key D. Just move it a little bit and then grab this thing. Ooh, hey. Ooh. Turn off um, soft selection and then move it back. Okay. So now we'll go... Mesh, save the scene, what the heck. Mesh and close polygon hole. Boink. Look at that nice grid. Okay. So now we just got these little pieces and these will just slide up. Uh, right here. Actually, I'm gonna do that in object mode. Where is that null? Where is that crazy null? Well, now wait just a second. That is a copy, right? Yeah, that's a copy. Okay. Okay, now put on the x-ray mode. And let's get into it. Let's get into it, people. Places. Places, everybody. Places. Okay, turn that soft selector back on. Maybe crank it up a little. Maybe crank it down a little. La 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 ba 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 ba. Close enough for the old government work, I think, right? Sure. Boom. Take all this. Move it up here. Shrink it down. Shrink it down. Shrink it down. Boom. Boom. <laughs> How are these things shaking out in 3D? How are you shaking out there in 3D? How are you shaking out? How's it all shaking out? How's it shaking out there for you? Da 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 do 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 all right, that's looking pretty good to me. Scorpion. I want to mix this up a little. They look kind of similar. Now, so that's on a little bit too high. So watch this. Maybe you can increase the selector here under the options. You go to like 30. Then you can paint them faster. So I'm going to grab these. Right. Now if I go up here and go to like a brush tool, mesh, move, brush. Now they'll have a little one set. It might be a little bit too big. 
So I'm going to go down. Now you get these different ones. Schmear, um, Repel, Twister, Vortex. Someone here is like Twister. Whoa. But uh, let's see. Repel. Yeah, that's looking unique. Get rid of that. Uh, what else we've got? Spin. Woohoo. Um, vortex. <laughs> God knows what that's doing in 3D. You gotta watch out for that. All right, now maybe I just wanna take it back a notch and smooth all that. Okay, I think it's gonna look different than the one below it now. Um, I'm a gamma 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 chameleon. Chameleon. Gamma 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 chameleon. Iron. Whoops. I meant to do the brush. Smooth. Okay. Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Now, what do we got here? That looks like it's about that for that. But here... <laughs> well, let's see what we've got. Do, 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 do. Well, it seems to be the way that goes. Now, look at all this stuff here. Why don't we make this little guy? What the heck? So, boom. Let's see. <clears throat> Polygon pen tool. Boom, boom. I'm gonna. I don't know what I'm thinking here. Boom, 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 boom. Did I get that? Boom. A little knife tool here. Cut loop. Cutter, hit the shift key, you're in the center. Now let's select this guy, select loop. Selector, let's do the point. I'm just gonna go down here and pull that towards the back. Oop, you don't wanna have your soft selection on. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let's put that over here. We'll just zero this out in the Z. Connect these guys. Connect objects and delete. And I'm just going to go in here and connect them real quick. Select loop. Stop pinching the baby. <laughs> Close those top pieces. Oh, what happened? Oh, okay. And then put it underneath the smoother. Check out the guide. Looks pretty good. Well, let's go ahead and plot this out. So I'm just going to go in and hide that and go up here. Grab a spline. You have to be in object mode, I guess, for that to appear. And then I'm just going to pluck away. Plucking away. Okay. Well, that's probably actually supposed to be up there. Alrighty. Now what we'll do is we'll make this little object right here. So I'm just gonna do another line. It's gonna go doot 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 doot, and I'll grab this. Uh, what the heck? We use a rectangle. Boom 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 boom. Scale that rectangle down. It's also gonna have to. Oh no! It looks like it's on the right one. Now you can get it big up at the top like that, and then have it scale down. 
with this tool up here in the sweep end scale. Now let's see what that looks like smooth. Tweak. Okay, so maybe what I'll do is just make that a little bit bigger. Pull this point down a little bit more. And I think I can live with that. Now I'm gonna grab a sphere. Shrink that down. Plop it up there like so. Maybe make it a little bit bigger. Okay, now take that and group it. Throw that underneath there. Now put these at the zero in this setting. Boom. Make a cloner. Drop it under there. I'll make it the cloner, the type, an object. Then drag and drop that spline object down there. Put it on the vertices. Whoops. Whoops. Vertices. Now what we're going to do is play with the orientation, which is in here. So you can just do random 90s or 270s. Let's see. There you go. Maybe a negative 90 here. I think you can do this too to sort of try to Huh, huh, huh. Well, actually, if you go here, if you notice before, there's like a, a rail. If you put that in there, sometimes it... Oh, jeez, I don't know. So, let's take the rail out. Uh, remove. So, what, what I'll do sometimes is... I'll just take and double up the, the null. I'm going to go down to this null here. I can make adjustments with cinema like this with these axis tools that I'm kind of used to. So I'll say if I did it like this and then like this. Ninety. Well, it gets pretty darn funky right there. See it up here. Closer. Ay, ay, ay. Well, see, I would like them to be perfect, but, um, you know, I guess this trick isn't really working out too well for me, so. Fortunately, I'm going to have to just do it like this. So I might want to change this down the road here, so I'll make an instance. And then just kind of go like that. These do seem to get smaller. It's definitely getting smaller, so we're just gonna have to current state it to an object and shrink that down a little. By hook, hook or by crook. Mm 
Alrighty. A little trick here, you can fold all. Boom, boom, boom. down in Joe's garage turn it down even if you play it on the saxophone a couple of quarts of beer would fix it so the intonation would not affect your ear one, two, three, four, da, 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 go some more. <laughs> All right. Let's get this one the little curly kill. Whoop. Okay. Now, fold all those. Bring this guy back. Yeah, what is the deal with that? What is the deal with that, Larry? This piece here wants to go all the way up to there, I think. Boom. Let's just see. Shall we? can also select like this. So we'll plot this linear line around all these points. There, like that. And boy, they got a lot of them. Let's see. There's a lot of them. Uh, a lot of what? Points. So there's the back piece. Wow, that went up pretty high. Is that going to be all right? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Seems like this all might want to be a little flatter, but let's see. Um, grab all of this, group it, bring it out. this looks kind of cool maybe uh symmetry over there like this uh. okay So look at this little funky headpiece we've got going on, right? Oh, those are eyeballs? No way. Whew. Eyes on top of its head. Whew. Okay, well, what the heck? I'm just going to dive in here and try to do this head. So, boom. Boom, boom. Oh, there's a little piece right there, huh? Let's try to see if we can keep that into consideration. Boom, 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 bo
Hallo. Line cut there. Oops. Just want to be able to get that guy squished over there. Alrighty. Forget about the edge. <laughs> Don't forget about the edge. Bow, 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 bow. What the heck is that thing? Grab this here. Go like this. Zero it out. Boink. Grab a symmetry tool. Bring it up over here. Bink. Flip it around this way, that way. Okay. Ah, what the heck? It's just. That'll be for the eyeball. Connect objects and delete. Throw this underneath the smoother. Boink. Make it x ray. See what we're up to over here. Don't forget to save your scene every now and then. Bow, 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 bow. There we go. There we are. Here we go. Grab these lines here, select loop, 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 boom, and boom, and boom. Right click, stitch and sew, boink. And this one's a little neater, we'll go that way. Okay, now I'll grab the rest of these points here. Hey, that was really kind of weird. Okay. Okay. There we go. Sort of looks like this thing checks in right there, doesn't it? Anyway, let's see what we got here. So, another way to do this is um, go like this. Grab all these with the hockey D and blow it out that way. This looks a little thin though, huh? Go like this. And grab these two, right click, connect objects, and delete. Select all the points, go up to mesh, remove, optimize, and just go with the default. It's on, well, usually zero. Boom. Then that'll merge that back right to it. Now, let's see. Do I have a little path around this whole thing? Select. Yeah, I got that right there. So let's do that little uh, trick there. We do D. Go in and then go out. Did that even do it? That didn't really do it. So in this case, maybe we have to do I. Make it a little smaller. Do D, go in, do D, go out. Then we've been going around loop selecting this. We've been going around town, loop selecting, loop, path, boom. Whoops, going to be on this mode. Wait a minute. Loop select. That's it. Come on. We have to hover just right. Ah, there we go. With hockey D. Sets add add more to it. We'll just smooth it a little bit. There we go. Now let's see. It's got a little bit of a 3D to its nature, and I don't really have that in there. So let's pop that up. I'm gonna go 
you here. Bring it up to here, why don't we? Why don't you? To there. To there. And then that to there. Oh boy, I totally screwed up with the eyeball there, huh? So, but let's see if I can save it. It looks as though like this stuff just squishes right around it. So, what if I go like this, make my soft selector on, see what I get. I'll take and turn that down to 0.4. I'll grab these. Did you see what happened today on the show? They took it down a point four. Took it down a point four. Boom. Boom. Took it down a point four. Okay. Hide that bonanza. Then we want to get this guy here. <laughs> Whoops. Grab these guys, straighten them out. You know the drill. Whoops. Make sure your soft selector's not on. Like. Ba -ba -da -ba. Ah, that's probably not going to work, right? Let's get that straight. Okay. Now, grab this guy. Copy, paste. Lucky D. Connect objects and delete. Select all these points. Mesh. Remove. And want to optimize it. Boom. Now it should be one object. You can tell because it goes smooth on both sides. Okay. Now let's lift that head up. Keep your head up. Okay. So soft selector's not on, so that should be all right. Just lifting them up. Now he's got an eyeball on there, the hockey eye. Boink. Beautiful. Beautiful work of nature. The eye. What am I doing? I should be putting this on X-ray. Wink. Mm, it does cute with eyes. Do 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 to get some cute little eyes, Scorpion. <laughs> okay, now let's see how this is fitting in with this. 
Uh, my soft selector is probably still on here, so I got to... Oh, it's not perfect. There's your eyeball. Um, just want to make a symmetry tool here. No, that guy gets one, right? But what about this guy? He wants one too. There you have that. Wow. Super freak. Super freaky. Do 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 do. Okay. Now, see here, you can turn off that merge. I mean, you always usually want it on, but here's an instance where you don't. So now, when you're doing it, uh, where'd you go? It doesn't like try to merge together if you cross them over a little bit. Freaky. Okay. Got a couple more eyeballs up here and a little connector things here. Let's turn this off. Take a look at it with our claw. <laughs> We're getting there, people. Slowly but surely. Let's see here. So what can I do next? This monstrosity. I keep honing in on these little things here. So, throw all this down here, hide it, save everything, let's make these guys, these little nasties, this one looks a little more bulbous, this one's a little more flattened out, so maybe I'll make one and then, I think I can make this one first and then make that one out of it, I don't know, let's see, polygon pen tool, doot. Do, do. Rockin' and a rollin'. We're never gonna stop. Okay, do, 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 do. Just puff this guy out here. Let's see. Whoops, hockey D. Meow. Grab all this, right click, connect objects and delete. Select it all. So you get that flat back there, which isn't horrible, but they're not really connected the points you know see if i went down here and grabbed a point right here you're gonna see there's two sitting on top of each other so it's not really watertight do 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 connect objects and I'm trying to remove actually optimize okay so then that gives it that thing but if you ever want to get it back and keep it watertight all you'd have to do is just you know select this at the hockey d like once and it's gonna be nice and flat like that but it's connected it's all watertight Okay, speaking of water, today's episode is brought to you by the Regional Water Authority, Lower Connecticut. That's the water I'm drinking. I don't have much of a choice, but it's either that or buy bottled water. But I hear the filtered water is checked every 15 minutes. And the bottled water, except for a very few brands, it's not checked really hardly at all. So you don't really know what you're getting. It could just be someone's hose water, for all you know. Which, actually, I guess the hose water would be better. 
All right, here we go. Let me just do this with the soft selector on it. I'm trying to get that to come out smooth. So turn this sucker on. Well, then it does that a little bit smoother. Now, did I want it to pull the back out? No, but if you don't want it to pull the back out, click surface and then do it. And then it kind of tries to keep it to that side and minimizes the effect. So that looks pretty cool to me for that one. Now what I will do, well, you know what I screwed up on? I don't, I, I forgot to put these little edges around here. So what do you do if you screw that up? Well, what do you do? What do you do? If you screw that up, you might as well just bag it, give up, go home. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, let's see, what am I going to do? I'm going to go here and I'm going to get up on that horse and find that dog. So all you need is like to have this little ring right here, I think. Select loop. Boom. Get that guy. And I hit the hockey D. Right? We'll get these this little shape going around it. Doing. Whoa, what happened? Oh, it looked really, it did a really bad job down here. So, so did, did it do that everywhere? Well, it didn't do it on the top. Okay, so. Let's see. If you want to fix that, just go here. Do, 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 do. Grab these and these. Do you need that? I don't know. Let's see. Let's see if I just need to do these two here and then go boink. Yeah. Yeah. So that was the old stitch and sew. Let's grab in this here and this here. Whoop. Right there. So that new Batman movie, The Batman, I think it's called. It's really good. Long one, but I liked it. Let's see. What am I trying to do? Stitch and sew. Boink. Okay, there you go. Now you got this guy. So you can go here, select loop. Alright, just get the top on there and you can do one of these. Boom. Maybe do two. And then maybe iron it a little. Iron that out. Okay. Now I kinda wanna bring this back. Bring it back. Yeah. Yeah. Woo. <laughs> All right. Going this. Now what we'll do is mirror this over here. Uh, with the symmetry tool. Current state object and delete. And we'll go to this guy. Squish him down a little. And I'm going to go and I'm going to select these right here. Boom, boom, boom. Is that going to be enough? We'll go to here. And we're going to subdivide that. Add subdivision. Mm, we're going to keep it on here. The smooth, smart. Smooth subdivision, sorry. Smooth, smart. There you go, cinema. That's your next button. Smooth, smart. Now, what I want to do is just to stress this, right? So I'll go. I, mean, I could try to use one of those paintbrush tools here. Do you know that you can go like this? You can convert this selection to points. So you just go down here to convert selection. You say, what do you want to convert? Well, I got polygons. Give me some points. Yeah, give me some Ethereum for Bitcoin. Convert. Boom. I go like that. Now I've got all these selected. So I could just go up here to move brush. Find one of these guys here. That's going to work out. Let's try a random uh, one here. I don't know. Twister. And what do we got here? Spin. <laughs> um, surface. I have no clue what that is. What's growing it? They have one that makes it flat. Be kind of neat. Schmear. No. Let's see. Pull. Yeah, I've had the opposite of pull. Normal. No. Nope. Repel. No. 
spin vertex. Well, oh, just I guess maybe the smooth one. Let's bring that down. Okay. So uh, you know I'm gonna have to just kind of go random here. Now I probably want to turn off my uh, soft select. Okay, that's off. So I'll just do a couple of these. Random. Boom, boom, boom. Yaddy, yaddy, yaddy. Boom. Okay, I don't want to go too crazy. Now these doohickeys here, we're going to come up here. Now you could do this with an FFD. Um, so you could just go here, right, and you grab, hold down control, I think. And Now what I'm talking about is making that little curve. So there's your FFD. Uh, you got to put it on the object. So it's, it, it really goes wherever the null is, so you got to watch out for that. Yeah, I'm looking for these guys. There's a new sheriff in town. I'm gonna scale that up. Drag and drop it underneath that. And let's see if it works. Okay, look at that. Now you can get more of these going across right here. Boom, like that. That'll make give you a little more control on, you know, how it's smoothing overall. La di da di da. La di da di da. Da. Now what's going on with this guy? Okay, so it's sort of I'm looking at this side, but this side here kind of wants to touch. So what's up with that? Oh, that's because I. Need to go under. So, let's try to do that with the F50. I'll just take these top points here. Move them under. And take these bottom points here. No, 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 no. Huh, it's doing some funky thing right here. Is that this because of this guy? That's because of this guy. So maybe if I make him deeper. If, if just a little piece is sticking out the wrong way. It doesn't like it. So there's the deeper way, right? But it really threw that off. Ay, 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 ay. Hmm. Well. So that'd be one way you could do it. Another way you could do it is you could just go in here and grab like the inner points here, put on your soft selector. Sort of check out the preview. There we go. So let's just increase it. You know, we don't need to do surface. There you go. And you see how that's doing a similar thing? Boom. Now we can go grab the tips. Why don't I just grab all of it? Let's say boink and boink. Now, turn that soft selector down a little bit. Let's go to point seven. Pull that piece back under there. Whoopsie daisy. Put that going back to here. Now this guy here, I think I might want to play around with um, because he was sort of a clone from the other guy, but you know, what are the chances that nature would do that? Probably zip Joe. So go like this, moving around. Now my soft selector is a little too heavy, so I go to point three. Yeah. Go into my selector, hitting the space bar to go to move. Grabbing all this stuff. Crepes. Gotta love crepes. More of a pancake guy, but let's see. <laughs> Do you like some crepes with kiwi? With kiwi with your crepe? Or would you like some bacon, egg, and cheese? No, man, I can't eat that anymore. I'm on a strict diet. I can only eat birds and fish. But it feels pretty good. It feels pretty good. All right, so that looks pretty cool to me. Let's check it out in 3D. 
Because God only knows what happens when you go. I can't even imagine if you let's check it out in 4D. Be like, it's horrible. So move that back a little bit. Let's increase that to a 0.8. Boom. Whoops. Okay. I think I can live with that, right? I mean, what's this? I mean, what's this right here? For crying out loud. Better turn that down to point four. Okay. I think that that's going to be good. Wow, I'm going to have nightmares about this thing. You, sir, are a liar and a thief. Me? You, sir, are a liar and a thief. All right, what's this stuff here? Somebody please tell me what is this. So much going on. Okay. These little guys here. Attaching to the arms. Do we have one of those arms? Do we have an arm? We do have an arm right there, right there. So, for my next trick, I'm going to hone in on this guy right here. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So, I'm going to grab a cube, shrink it down. And we're going to bring that cube right up over here, like so. Throw them underneath the subdivision surface, like that. Make this thing x ray. I'll bring them down a little bit. Like that. Boom. Current state to an object. So let's turn off that soft selector. Okay. Now let's see if I can make this guy out of this guy. So I'm going to go here and grab this. Well, I want that one. I'm going to hit the hot key D. I don't know what I do. Hockey I maybe. Hockey D. Oh my Atlanta. Let's subdivide this guy a little bit first. So after that, add subdivision, subdivide. Um, yes. Okay. So now we got a little bit more to deal with here, so it won't fall apart. On us. So D a little bit. I. Always ends up being a little bit bigger than you'd hope. So you just kind of go back and scale it down a little. Whoop. <coughs> okay, I think that's good. Do hickeys here. Scale them down. That's the bottom side there, so I'm just flattening that out. Let's see where this guy fits in. Oh, 
So I can get that backwards. So one one thing you can do if you've got something backwards is you just select it all like this. Hit this key here and go like that. And look up top and look for the 100 mark. Cowabunga. Now, let me just check something real quick here. Okay, so that kind of lines up here with this little loop de loop stuff. Just trying to get this guy to play nice here. With these guys. And then we can move this all up here like this. Select that darn thing. <laughs> there we go. I was on polygon mode. When you're on that mode, you can't really select much of anything at all in the object manager. I was trying to select an object. So let's go here. This guy, make sure your soft selector's on. Put it on uh, surface so it doesn't affect the other side, but just this side. It'll just pull them all. So that surface one's cool. Turn it down, point two, maybe. Straighten some of this stuff out. Okay. Eh, looks like some good fun. All right. Creepy alligator. Uh, well, well, well. I don't want to pry, but I don't want to pry. Let's see, do 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 do. Um, I don't know. What are we gonna do here? What in the world are these things? Pinchers? Is that its mouth? I have no idea, people. <laughs> This cool piece down here to go. Let's see. Should we do some damage here? Some more? Uh, da, 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 da. Be kind of nice to close this up, but I guess there's a lot more to go as far as that. So we got the tail to go, a couple of feet here. Let's see. Uh, it seems like the more I think about it, the less work that I do, so. 
I'll just start working on something and see where it goes. We know we're going to need these. The eyeballs. The eyeballs. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, how do you suppose that that looks up here? It seems like there's another plate like this that's, that goes down under it. Mm, so I wonder if I can make it out of this plate. Right here. So I'll recycle this. Bad boy. Boom. Now, maybe I'll move it without that for starters here. So I'm going to go down and up. Probably don't need all of that, but. Good burpee, baby. Ooh, real good one. Wow, that's it. Keep them coming. Woo. Yeah. Triple burp. Okay, so I'm going to hide everything here. Let's just look at this guy. Doing that with these little stoplight things. There. Now, I'm going to go into point mode. Let's make this guy x-ray. And I want to match that shape right here. La 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 Now I don't even know if we really need all of this down here to be honest with you. So we might as well say goodbye. Now this is probably a tricky one for the computer to to fill up there, so let me just see what I can do here manually. At least I can get a couple of these going across. So I'm going to go bridge, add bridge. And then let's see, I'm trying to go from like here to here. Here to here. Oh, what the heck am I doing? Is this one? Eesh. Oof. Hmm. <laughs> Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, let's just see what happens. I don't really want to do this, but let's just see what happens there. I'll close my eyes and look the other way. Do this. Align the normals. Normal align. Okay. So now back to the action here. Do we have enough points to play with these guys? So these guys here. I'm gonna move them up. I'm moving up. I'm moving up in the world, guys. So now this is what I'm talking about is there's this shape here. Around these eyeballs. Let's turn off the soft selector. Okay, well, so this is really not subdivided too well. So, I'm going to go here. Okay, so now let's try to add some subdivision. This one I might have to do two. Uh, so we'll try one first. Add, subdivide. Well, let's just go for two. Okay. Now, I'm going to pick these guys. Let's see if this works. Now, is that the right way to interpret that? We've got these guys in a divot. Or what? Yeah, I think so. It's like a divot. Okay, so let's see if I go 
grab this guy, put my soft selector on, keep it on surface. So I can align that up better with him or her, however you prefer to pronounce that or say that. All right, that looks kind of cool to me. Gonna wanna have these guys over here as well. Boom. Can I get away with making them black right now? A little bit cool, maybe shiny. So I think some reflection here, put on level three. Other guy there, that eyeball. Where's he? Yeah, right there. So you could also be black. Oops. Might want to increase this selection. And then drag and drop it on there. There you go. Oh, yeah, baby. Looks like this guy here wants to go down just ever so slightly right here. Yeah. Neat O. Okay. This must be his beak here, his teeth. I'm thinking. I don't know how the hell those things work there, but. Um, let's see. <whistles> well, let's just jump right in. Boom, boom, boom. Ah, I know I feel the same way. Boom. Uh, I wonder if I should just get all these while I'm in here. actually another one right there I don't know if these are the muscles does that one go up or is that its own well that one wants to go all the way up to here underneath that's interesting so we'll do this one after Copy paste. With the hacky D going back this way. Hope. Select and delete. Connect and delete. Up here to all the points. I think. 
Um, maybe we don't need to be in here. I'm just going up to optimize, mesh, remove, optimize. Okay. Build underneath a hyper nerve. Now you see how they're they're a little bit thin. They were kind of like touching each other before. You can do this trick here. You select everything and go to mesh, move, normal scale. And it kind of like just puffs everything out like that. Okay. And then remember we have this guy in here. So I'll go ahead and add him. <whistles> Saw a little thing in there. I want to grab like right there. And the leads. Oh, yeah, I want to do your uh, optimize. Remove, optimize. Okay. Now, if I put that underneath here, make sure you put a null so they're both working. Let's see what we got. Got this little doohickey here. I'll move them out here. Why don't I do all those backwards? No, no, they're fine. He just wants me on top of that one there. Yeah, it was backwards. You want to be up here. These ones here look a little thin to me. Here and here. Let's see if I can subdivide those maybe. I'll try to subdivide these without doing the um this setting here. Yeesh. Let's see. Let's try it with it. Level one. And if I iron it a little bit. Huh, I don't know. It sort of has this pinchy edge to me. Let's say the old cut loop path cut tool here will help us out. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Cool. I want to run it on him too. Smooth them a little. What the heck? Okay. Mm-hmm. <sighs> 
I think this is in a good spot for today, folks. We'll continue this tomorrow with part three. This is definitely the longest one we've done, but um, it's pretty cool. So tomorrow I'll try to wrap up the head here, these three extra legs and the tail. And then one thing I was thinking of trying to do is put it into this pose. So that'll help inform me, you know, with the legs and, and everything, kind of like how high up he is. Because right now, if you look at the leg, like this leg right here, for example, it's just flat like the drawing. So it'd be nice to make that so it's got some 3D nature to it and then the, the scorpion can come up and then we'll put this pose and have the snappers open. That'll look real cool. Might even look cool to have him go into the pose. Um, so see what we can do. Rig the character after we're done with him. All right, well, thank you very much. Please like and subscribe. Share the channel. If you know anybody out there who wants to watch me uh, 3D model this scorpion, please share the video with them. Screaming towards 1,000 subscribers, but still need to get to about another 3,000 watched hours. So, um, yeah, let me know if you know anybody who needs a 3D model on the market. My rate's 67.50 per hour, and I use Cinema 4D R26 right here pretty much exclusively. A little bit of Photoshop for texturing and Premiere for maybe an edit here or there, After Effects. I'm very light on the After Effects. But, um, yeah, let me know. I would be happy to um, have a little Zoom meeting with you, talk to you about your projects. There's plenty of people who um, I've worked for in the past. I've been running my LLC for about 10 years, so I don't know if I have thousands of examples, but I have almost thousands of 3D models on TurboSquid. Once I get to 2,000, I think you can say thousands. So I'm at 1,650, something like that. And those are models. Sometimes I've made them exclusively for Turbo Squid because I don't have a client that's paying me. Um, then I had the bright idea. I think Prunisher. I don't know if I'm saying his name right, but I was watching YouTube one day and I saw this guy in California, part life coach, part C4D guy. But anyway... He said something during his long form video. He would do videos on Saturdays, 3D modeling stuff for hours and have thousands of people watching. Um, but he said something to the effect of like, it's like a living portfolio. I think he said that. And so that the YouTube, instead of having this PDF and having a you know, YouTube demo reel, like when I first got into this business, you would have a demo reel. Nobody really had social media so much, you know, the late 90s. But um. Yeah, so the guy basically was like f recording his screen while he was working. So I thought to myself, geez, I could record my screen while I'm working. And it's some kind of an advertisement for the work that I'm doing all day long. And it helps the internet start buzzing with, hey, here's me. I'm doing 3D all the time. So it's been really great. And I'm really thankful that I came across that Prudisher guy's YouTube. And then I started to kind of emulate him and start doing my own thing with YouTube. So I'm really thankful for that. And um, yeah, just let me know if you need a, a 3D model or something like that. You got an idea. I've done a lot of ideas for people on the show. One guy had an idea for um, during the show the other day. He wanted to have like a turbine engine. And the turbine engine, he wanted to see the wind going through. I actually grabbed a turbine engine off of GrabCAD and I cut it in half. And I, I started trying to do a little bit of wind stuff. And it basically looked horrible. So, I mean, I, that was just going to be a total failure for me. But my strengths in my opinion, doing the 3D modeling. Not so much doing the effector and having the, the flow of the air bouncing around the fans and so much. But, yeah, you know, so if it's, if it's more focused on a 3D model, that would be the best request for me. So, yeah, thank you very much. I'm babbling here, but I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye.